हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू साइन बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन सोशलॉजी ऑप्शन सब्जेक्ट फॉर यू पी एस सी एस एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज सोशलॉजी ऑफ साइंस एंड इट्स सब टॉपिक साइंस साइंटिफिक मैथड एंड क्रिटिक सो फ्रेंड प्लीज डू दिस थ्री आर्स एज विल रियली मोटिवेट मी टू कंटू दिस ऑसम कोर्स शेयर एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपल विल गेट बेनिफिटेड कमेंट एंड लाइक द वीडियो एंड आस्क एनी डाउट इफ यू हैव एंड हिट द सब्सक्रिप्शन बटन बिल लो द वीडियो एंड नाउ यू कॉल्सो यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो अस ऑन फेसबुक पेज दट इज फेसबुक डॉट कॉम स्लेश एन ऑर्थोडॉक्स अकेडमी सो फ्रेंड एज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट वी आर कवरिंग स्लॉट टू ऑटोनॉमस टॉपिक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर दीज टॉपिक्स ऑफ पेपर टू एंड इन पेपर वन वी हैव फिनिश द टॉपिक सोशलॉजी द डिसिप्लिन एंड इन बाय दिस वीडियो वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू टॉपिक इज सोशलॉजी एज साइंस एंड इट्स सब टॉपिक साइंस साइंटिफिक मैथड एंड क्रिटिक सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग साइंस साइंस साइंटिफिक मैथड एंड क्रिटिक वी फर्स्ट सी द नेचर ऑफ सोशलॉजी और सोशलॉजी एज साइंस सो बेसिकली दे आर अ कंट्रोवर्सीज ऑफ नेचुरल साइंस वर्च एज सोशल साइंस विच हैज बी गोइंग ऑन फार for the past few centuries traditionally the science are divided into two main branches that is natural science which studies biological physical or factual phenomena whereas social science which studies various aspect of human behavior both these sciences are committed to apply scientific method but natural sciences believe that it is not possible in human science because human behavior cannot be predicted experimented and generalized social science is, is a science or not is a debatable issue as swartz says science is science whether it is biology or sociology august comte herbert spencer e mile durkheim saint simon tried to develop sociology like a science august comte said sociology studies through positive methodology that is only those realities that are observable later it has been realized that sociology cannot be developed on the line of natural sciences hence it should be developed on the line of social science macaiver correctly said that human behavior is completely unpredictable hence any theory on human behavior especially tended towards the and uh, towards the group cannot be proved or investigated but he also said that the methods of sociology are highly science but because of its subject matter sociology cannot be classical science like physics chemistry math uh, chemistry mathematics and biology so what is science basically science refers to a logical systematic method by which knowledge is obtained and produced a science uses systematic method of empirical investigation the analysis of data theoretical thinking logical assessment of the argument to develop a body of knowledge about a particular subject matter basically there are three goals of science first to explain why something happens second to make generalizations and third to predict or specify what will happen in the future in the light of available knowledge the element of science are as follows the first element is use of scientific method method and we see what is scientific method then we have reliability validity generalizations and predictions so we see what is scientific method so basically scientific met method is a device for using specific rules to acquire, acquire knowledge to test hypotheses and analyze data to produce new explanation science produces objective and accurate information and develops an understanding of natural world the logical rational efficient and effective way of collecting organizing and interpreting fact is called scientific method now basically scientific cons method consists of a series of steps which a researcher follow while carrying out research as long uh, as long as these steps are followed a study is said to be scientific and these steps are these the first step is selecting a topic or researchable problem basically finding a problem that merit study can be investigated by method of science then the second step is defining a problem basically in this we are narrowing the topic and focusing on specific areas to choose a perform problem then in the we in the next step the next step we do is the reviewing the literature basically surveying the existing data on the subject chosen is reviewing the literature then formulating hypothesis arriving at a statement of what you expect to find according to prediction from theory a hypothesis specifies the relationship between among between or among variables or factors then choosing a research method basically selecting a method of data collections by using different tool of research then we do collection of data 
basically collecting data using different methods such as experimentation, sample survey, participant observation, interviews, analyzing the document or examining the existing record or combining any of the above to collect the data. Then analyzing the data using different techniques to analyze the data collected. In this we just analyze the data that we have collected. Then finally we arrive at a result and we do the sharing of result by writing the final report and to share the finding of the search. So by graph we can see it like this that first we select a topic on a issue that on which we have to study and research. Then we define the problem. Basically in this we narrowing the topic and focusing on a specific topic or sex section or subject about which we have to define. Then we, we review the literature. Basically in this we review the literature that is already present on that topic. Then we formulating the hypothesis. Then we choose a research method or methodology to do the research on the topic with that we have selected then we finally collect the data or there are mm, many methods for collecting data now we see the method the first is experimentations then documents then secondary analysis then participant observations and the final is surveying or as you know that there are different methods in India we have sensors which has basically do the collections of data and then those collection of data will be final finally analyzed and the result is presented which is the census documents then we do analyzing result and sharing the result now basically robot uh, robert beerstead in his book the social order mentioned the following characteristics of the nature of sociology basically sociology is a social science not a natural science sociology is categorical or positive and not a normative science sociology is pure or theoretical science and not an applied science sociology is an abstract science and not a concrete science sociology is generalizing science and not a particularizing science then we have sociology is both rational and empirical science then according to Giddens Sociology is a science in the sense that it involves systematic method of investigations and evaluation of theories in the light of evidence and logical arguments. But it cannot be molded directly on the natural science because studying human behavior is in fundamental ways different from the studying the world of nature. Then we see the critic of scientific method. Basically, the first critic is that there is a possibility of biasness because bias can enter the research progress in many ways. For example, a piece of research based on surveys can be pushed in a particular direction by researchers by framing questions in a particular way. Then conflicting paradigm. Thomas Kuhn in his book Structure of Science Revolutions points out that a researcher roughly knows the result of research and the changes basic framework to offset the anomalies he observed during research. Then there is a problem of understanding cause and effect. Basically scientific method apply correlation but causation cannot be directly inferred from correlations. And there are certain correlations which can be biased or incomplete or unrepresentative data and it will finally lead to false conclusion. For example, Durkheim found a correlation between rate of suicide and season of the year. But this may lead to the conclusion that temperature may have something to do with it. But in reality, the cause is that in spring and summer, most people engage in more intensive social life than in winter. Then Carl Jung and Jack Barzu notice in their study that science cannot explain emotions like happiness, beauty, etc. and limit itself to quantitative calculations. Then scientific method does are not universally applicable and highly manipulative when applied to softer aspects. Then we see another critic that is vulnerability of a theory. Basically Karl Pupper in his book Logic of Scientific Inquiry points that science, scientific methods are based upon existing scientific theories. They are vulnerable like just other methods and far from perfection. Then social life cannot be laboratorized because it may lead to unnatural behavior and may affect the results significantly. Then finally to conclude scientific method give a certain approach which adds objectivity to researcher and increases judgmental value but when it comes to sociology and other social science it, it give a lot of freedom to the researcher. Hence researcher needs to be careful of the limitations while concluding research and try to plug 
all loopholes before coming to any conclusions so guys thank you for listening to me and watching this video please do this ring and now you can also follow us on facebook page that is facebook.com slash unorthodox academy and subscribe to the channel for notification of more videos that are going to come thank you